Prepare to be enthralled as we unravel the fascinating tale that led Joe Rogan to ascend to the summit of greatness as one of the greatest jiu-jitsu martial artists ever witnessed on the internet and in the annals of history. Long before he became a successful commentator or internet personality, Joe Rogan was no different from you or me. Joseph James Rogan, as his real name is, was born on August 11, 1967, in the city of Newark, New Jersey, where his grandfather had moved with his grandmother 20 years earlier. He showed an interest in sports at an early age, and his father took him to Little League baseball practice. Fortunately, he did not continue in those classes. Otherwise, we would not know this man. A few years passed, and as a teenager, he began to develop an interest in martial arts with the dream of one day becoming a professional fighter. In his own words, Rogan described martial arts as the first thing he did where he didn't feel like a complete loser. People liked and respected him for his martial arts talent. During his youth, he had different approaches to martial arts where he ended up being overpowered and neutralized by his opponents, leaving him with a feeling of infinite defeat that would not leave his mind. From that moment until he was 22 years old, he dedicated his life to training and competing in different disciplines where he had more than 100 taekwondo matches and he was victorious in most of them. It wasn't until 1994 that his interest in martial arts took a new direction when he saw Hoist Gracie fight in UFC 2, No Way Out. He immediately realized that Taekwondo, which had brought him so many victories and so much joy, was an incomplete martial art. He was fascinated by the way Hoist was able to take down his opponents even when he was at a physical disadvantage. This episode in his life marked a before and after and Rogan's love for BJJ was born. Joe Rogan began his first jiu-jitsu class in 1996 under the tutelage of Carlson Gracie in the vibrant city of Hollywood, California. Throughout his journey, he sought training from the renowned Hickson Gracie at the beginning of the 2000s. During his first encounter on the mats, a proficient purple belt practitioner defeated Joe. He had a glimmer of hope at first, believing he had a chance. However, reality hit him hard following the session, revealing his delusions about his self-defense abilities. These initially humiliating experiences fueled his determination to approach jiu-jitsu training with zeal. Joe Rogan earned the prestigious blue belt rank sometime in the late 1990s or early 2000s, marking a significant milestone in his development. While hosting the popular show Fear Factor, Joe had the honor of receiving his purple belt from the renowned Jean-Jacques Machado in 2002. Joe recalls this as one of the happiest times of his life, even surpassing the thrill of landing the Fear Factor role. Joe Rogan had been a brown belt for eight years because of a lack of consistent training at the time. During this time, he began practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu without a gi under Eddie Bravo's tutelage. He was also scheduled to face Wesley Snipes during this period. Joe was convinced that if he could get Wesley to the ground, he could submit him because Wesley, despite being a competent wrestler, had never trained in BJJ. However, the fight never took place. Joe Rogan attained the significant milestone of two black belts in 2010. The first was his Gi black belt, which he received from Jean-Jacques Machado and the second was his Nogi black belt from Eddie Bravo. There is no doubt that Joe Rogan's story with BJJ is an inspiring one that invites us to focus more on our goals. Are you a Joe Rogan follower? If you are, leave a comment and tell us what you like most about his career. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. See you in the next video.